أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أهلا وسهلا إلى مركز العلوم والحكمة Remote Study Welcome to 16 parts of our lesson series from the book title Daily Tafiz Booklets I am Mudaris Sulaiman Ali A happy listening we are still learning from Surah Al-Asr, Surah Al-Asr, chapter 104 of the Noble Quran. Sorry, Surah Al-Humaza, Surah Al-Humaza, chapter 104 of the Noble Quran. So we are going to learn from verse 3 to verse 5 of Surah Al-Humaza. Surah Al-Humaza is Makiya, Makiya meaning a surah that was revealed in Makkah, that was given to the Prophet when he was in Makkah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, now I'm going to read. You repeat after me carefully while trying to identify each of the letters. Surah al-Humaza. Surah al-Humaza. Reading from verse 3 to verse 5. Verse 3 to verse 5. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay, here is verse 3. There are two letters here. This yah, there are two letters here. I told us in level 1 how to separate two letters written on top of each other according to Quranic inscription. So, you have to separate the two letters from the center here, from this joint. So, the off letter is Ya'un. Look at the two dots of the Ya'un. So, the off letter is Ya'un and the down letter is Ha'un Sukun. You read the off letter before the down letter. Now, we can read it as Yah, Yah, Yah Sabu, Yah Sabu. This Anna, Anna, remember this Nunu with Shadda, you give it a special tone, as in Onku, Onku, Anna, this Ma, Lahu, this Ma, this Aleph Maddi is saying, draw the letter before me. It is telling us to prolong our Ma, 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 learning how to prolong a letter is very key. In Quran recitation. So, ma, lahu, lahu, lahu. So, this symbol written on this small wound is saying, draw the letter before me very well. Very well must be there. Ma, lahu, ma, lahu. Okay, this, ah, this haun sukun. Ah, lada. This haun dumma, we turn to haun sukun for stopping on it. Ah, lada, ah, lada, ah, lada. Yah, sabu, anna, ma, lahu, ah, lada. Yah, sabu, anna, ma, lahu, ah, lada. Yah, sabu, anna, ma, lahu, ah, lada. I hope you understand. MashaAllah. Okay. Then verse 4. Kalla. Kalla. La yumba dhanna. La yumba. La yumba dhanna. This small mimun, we must consider it. So this small mimun, written on Nunu. So you are going to read the small mimun instead of the nunun below it. The reason why I will tell you in level three of this le of this uh, course. La yum la yumba vanna la yumba la yumba vanna. Okay, this fee we are supposed to draw, draw it. Abi, we are supposed to draw it. 
to say fee we are supposed to draw fee isn't it because of the young saying yao the saying draw the letter before me however here is alif al wasli here is alif al wasli after yao what is he saying alif al wasli is saying never draw it again never draw it again because the yao has now become passive it has become ineffective it has lost its job so now we're going to connect our fee with lamu sukun here we say fill fill no longer feel that is wrong don't read it by drawing fee by saying feel it is wrong that is wrong because alif al wasli is saying never draw it again feel there are two letters here written on top of each other i told us in level one how to separate them so we separate them at this joint this lamu sukun and the down letter is ha un dumma we read the la the up letter before the down letter fill the hole fill the hole toma this around tower we turn it to how sukun for stopping fill ho toma fill ho toma fill ho toma la ala ka fahimta i hope you understand a fill ho toma okay verse five now wama sorry kalla kalla this is sign of stopping silly this silly this symbol is called silly it is a sign of stopping you pause when you see it during your recitation say kalla then you pause before you read further then la yum badanna fil hutama kalla you pause la yum badanna fil hutama now verse 5 Wama, this symbol written on Alif Madi is saying, draw the letter before me very well. Very well must be there. Wama, aha. Wama, then add roka. Add roka. It is supposed to be add, but rather you say, add, add, add roka. The reason why I'll tell you in level three of this course. Wama. Ade roka, ade roka, wama ade roka. Ma, you are supposed to draw your ma because of Alif Madi saying draw the letter before me. You see ma. However, here is Alif al Wasli. What is he saying? Never draw it again. Okay, you are going to connect your ma with Lamu Sukun. You say mal, mal, mal hotoma, mal hotoma. No longer mal, that is wrong. Don't say mal, wrong. Because of the presence of Aleph al after Aleph Madi here. You say mal, hotoma. Okay, there are two letters here being put on top of each other. Lamun and Haun, you separate them. Mal, mal, hotoma. You read the up letter before the down letter. Mal, hotoma. Okay, now I'm going to read, read verse 3 to verse 5 as an expert. So try to identify each of the letters as I am reading and listen attentively. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim I am reading from here now. Yahsabu anna ma lahu ahlada Again, yah sabu anna ma lahu ahlada. Once again, yah sabu anna ma lahu ahlada. Now verse four, verse four. Kalla la yumba thanna fil hutama. Once again, kalla you pause. Because of that symbol written on top of Kalla, it is telling you to pause before you continue, continue your recitation. It is telling you to pause before you continue your recitation. Kalla la yumbadhanna fil hutama. Once again. Kalla la yumbadhanna fil hutama. Now verse 5. 
وما أدراك ما الحطمة Once again وما أدراك أد وما أدراك ما الحطمة Once again وما أدراك ما الحطمة Okay let me read it again from verse three to verse five أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يحسب أن ما له أخلده كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة لألك فهمت I hope you understand سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك Kindly like the video Share it and hit the subscribe button below مع السلامة وإلى اللقاء آخر